In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your controller hardware. Let's assume we have here an application template which is based on a controller DXR2E09. And as you can see, we have used already all input uh, which are available. And uh, let's assume also that the customer would require some additional logic on the controller which requires additional inputs. This is now in ABT side room programming very easy to resolve because you can now here in the device configuration you on the controller right click then the open uh, context menu shows you the possibility for change device and with that uh, menu you can then select what controller you would like to change to in our case I will change to an E18 to give me a high flexibility in inputs and outputs and here I confirm the change. The change uh, happens now in the tool and the tool tries also to reassign all existing IOs to the new controller. As you now can see um, the tool has recognized that, our, uh, that the controller currently has IOs which we do not support on the new hardware. Um, in particular here these are the relay outputs, so the E18 does not support relay outputs. And this is now here mentioned and says, okay, um, check please all the IOs and uh, redesign the hardware layout of the IO channel where needed. I press OK and what you can see now is that all the inputs and also the analog outputs, they are assigned to the IOs. But of course there is no relay output and as we see now here in the tool, we have here the fan speed relay output which was, for air, uh, which was before there and here we see that it's not assigned anymore. How can we fix that? This is uh, pretty simple. We just uh, delete now here the existing output, which is a triac out, uh, which is a relay output. And we will look for the triac output here to be replaced. So we have here the inputs outputs. We have here the uh, binary outputs and we have here the fan enable. Where is it? Enable fan speed, triac here. That's the one we need for our application. And simply by drag and dropping it into our application functions and the room segment editor, it is directly assigned to the next free IO. And we see here also that the application now is ready as before and we have new inputs available, we have a couple of new outputs available and we are able now to add our control program with new inputs and outputs.